to Toffee TV. It is the match preview. It is the Europa League second game. Match day two. Match day two. In, in the Europa League, as I just said. Against Apollon Limassol from Cyprus. Cypriots. Cypriots. Um, I'm just going to say this right now. If we don't beat these, then it's time to pack up and go home. Quite literally. Because... I've been looking at the at the at the the records and they look okay. They look, uh, you know. No, we should be beating them. I don't care. I'm not going to beat around the bush on this. This is a team we've got to be beating. Three league games so far. One, one, one. Drew two. They got to be by Aberdeen. And that's where I'm leaving it, Baz. They got to be by Aberdeen away. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we've got to beat them. Yeah, and I think we will beat them, and I think we should beat them. And I don't think we've got anything to fear other than ourselves. Mm. That'll be the issue. We'll just be how we how we line up. But Ronald Koeman gets his his line up right. We we will beat them and beat them comfortably because we've got it. We you know we were shocking against Atalanta in, in match day one, and it's time to correct that now by uh, by getting the three points against these. I don't think these will be any better than split way. No. I don't think these will be any better whatsoever. And I think I think these will be like Rouge and Better. Come and sit behind the sit ball. Sit behind the ball, try and keep it tight. But you would hope now with our fitness and sharpness and everything else that we'll just be able to play through them. Yeah, I think it's the right time to play them. It's um now that we've just come off the back of two wins, fans will be a little bit more happy, maybe a little bit more patient. But I do think an early goal would be would be massive in this because I think like you just said if they came I was looking no expert but I was just looking at what they play and they seem to play four two holding midfielders three and then one up front so what we've been sort of having to put up with recently um, that's the way they like to like to play and you imagine they'll want to get a lot of men behind the ball try and hit us on the counter attack if they can um, and obviously just get through the tie I mean that with it being a one off game as well it's it's It'll be it'll be interesting to see how they approach it. They might look at it and think, well, if we pick up game wins away from uh, wins at home and maybe get the odd points away, they might fancy. I don't I don't know how they're going to approach it. But they did draw with Leon in the first game, although the equalised in the ninety third minute. Mm. But we've just been looking at at the at the game and it wasn't it wasn't a t it wasn't um, a tight affair. Or Leon didn't run away with it by any means. These had a real good go in that game and, and got their probably just rewards in the ninety third minute. Yeah, they looked depending on which which uh, report you looked at. They either won the possession or they lost the possession. But it was uh, very close. But it was close, yeah. And, and the shots wise was very similar. Which you'd expect at home. You'd expect them to do a little bit of the run under. Obviously decent enough to have got they've had to play three qualifiers to get into the yeah, group. Yeah. So they're obviously a decent side. But are they better than Sunderland? Mm. I don't think so. You know, and it's that kind of it's that kind of thing that we have to take into this game. It's it it's not a two legged affair, it's not qualifying, will we get there? We're in the groups now and, and it's about winning games. We're at home. Last time we were in the Europa League we had some big teams and we we smashed them a good dozen and that's what we have to do with these. And I think as well, another thing you've got to we need at least three wins in this group to go through. And the other teams well, I know Leon have drew with them, but Leon are fancy beating these at home. Mm. At Atlanta are fancy beating these at home. So therefore, we have got to beat them, certainly home and away, mm. if we want to get through out of this group. Because I, I'm not saying they are going to be the whipping boys, but just by who they are and what and what they are and and where they come from in the league and the standard of the league, you would expect you would expect us to beat them. And if we don't, it, I, I, as I say, it's time to pack up and go home. I know anything can happen in football, but these are the games you've got to win because, as I say, you expect everyone else to beat these. Although Le uh, Leon haven't, but you would expect them to beat them at home. And as I've said, and so it's almost like we have to beat them, and then it, and then the 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 placings will be settled when we play Leon and when we play Atalanta at home. So I'm not saying that puts any other pressure on, it, but but it does. But it does. Oh, we've got we've got to beat them. These when you look at the group, you see Leon, Atalanta, and these, and you go right. They're the team we should be beating home and away. Mm. Or certainly getting four points out of six from them. You know, um, I I fancy us to beat everybody at home. Leon, 
fancy us to be that Atalanta at home. I don't think we can play as bad as we did against them away. We, I think we'll take them at home. Mm. Good start, and I think we'll be we'll beat Leon. So these are the ones. And and listen, let's be let's be a little bit more positive yeah. now. It's not last week where we yeah, were going yeah. into that Sunderland game and we were going, you know, we should beat them, but we, we've won the two home yeah. games. You know, we Bournemouth have been miles better than these. Yeah, and we just beat Bournemouth. Okay, we're not going to have Nias. Um, but imagine saying that <laughs> whoever thought anyone would ever say I that you know imagine saying that eight, eight nine days ago so that's what it is you know if the players that we've got listen I I will say this now without seeing these play not one of their players will get in our team mm. and I'm going to say that and they haven't seen them kick a ball so to me it's just attitude and I think Everton's attitude will be right on Thursday because they've had that kicking against Atalanta yeah. and they look at this and go right this is where we start now we didn't perform last time out in this mm. But that's gone now. We've won a couple of games. We're at home. Let's get our first three points and let's get up and running. I think what's good as well. I think I think the way the games have worked out in in the in the um, how we play the the next five games. Okay, Atalanta was a tif- difficult start, but that's gone now. They've beaten mm. us. They've established themselves as maybe the team to beat in the group. We get we go into this game. We get three points. You know, depending on what the other game. I don't even. I don't know whether I want Leon to to win. I don't know whether I want it to be a draw, or I don't know whether I want Atalanta to run away with the group. I don't know. I'll, I'll, have to, I'll come to a decision in my head. But I think if Atalanta win, if Atalanta win in Leon, they've got six points. Then only Leon will have mm. one after two yeah. games. Do you know what I mean? So it, it's it's how you think because I think we will beat Atalanta, Atalanta at home and we'll beat Leon at home. Mm. I, I really believe. But I'd that. rather, yeah. I sp- I, I it's it's one of them. It's whether you go well. Hang on, do we cut it up and let one team run away with it, and then have it be between us and Leon, or do we? You know, it doesn't really matter, does it? Can't it can't affect it. It can't. So, yeah, it's about us winning our games. Mm. But I do feel like with having these at home and then having having Leon at home next as well, I think that's a that's perfect for us. I, hopefully, the way we're playing as well, the the way we we g- hopefully gradually get better as well. I mean, this is a perfect opportunity. Two games one back to back to go and get a third then we're looking ahead then, to, then we're yeah. looking ahead to the Leon game as our next European game at home thinking right that's a game we can win and then obviously we'll go play Leon away would be a bit difficult and then and then Atalanta at Atalanta at home and then you're thinking I mean hopefully by then we'll have a few points on the board and we're thinking we can win that game and we address things a little bit mm-hmm. so I think this has come at the perfect time for us this game if we can get if we can get a nice win out of this maybe 2 3 nil nice and comfortable then I think it's perfect timing ahead of uh, Sunday against Burnley definitely the players will be confident I'm confident and uh, everyone f- listen everyone feels a lot better than they did a week ago we've won we've had two home games we've won the two home games you know Bournemouth was a tricky game at the weekend mm. It was a, and it was a hard game you know let's not make any bones about it but we made it that's that way it wasn't the fact that we're, we're not good enough and they carved us open we made our own mm. problems and that's something we won't do well we can't do in this game we just need to go out get the ball move the ball quicker yeah. if we can move the ball quicker these won't live with us and like you say if we can get an early goal first 10 or 15 minutes it'll settle the whole mm. place down that it'll be interesting then to see what they do whether they just go right let's stay in the game and we might get a set piece or they might come out a little bit and then we can pick well, it'll be up. interesting to see how they approach the game in the first place because as I say, you don't know, do you? They they might be thinking, well, we'll pick points up at home, or or we need to, you know, twist away from home and try and grab one somewhere. You don't know, do you? You don't know how. I mean, I, I would think they would think uh, being a Premier League team, we need to keep it tight and hit them on the break and and, and maybe get a set piece or something like that. But I don't know how good they are on set pieces. And uh, for me, I I think though we've got to be positive. I think we need to start with two up front. Mm-hmm. And I think we need to have a right go with them and, and just be try and bombard them. Um, I, I don't know if we can be. I'm not saying. Be, I don't know if we can be patient. I don't know if the players can be patient in a way. I don't mean that like scrambling around. I mean, you know, go for them from the very start. Have a real go at them yeah. and, and try and break them down early so they're like, oh, fucking hell. It's got to be tempo against yeah. these kind of teams. It, you get them, and it'll have to be tempo against Leon. It'll have to be tempo against Atalanta because if we let them dictate the pace and slow it all down, you're playing at the pace they want to play. And the, the best thing about Premier League football is it, the pace can be unrelenting. And if you play at a fast, high speed, a lot of teams, Premier League teams, can't live with you always. So these European teams definitely can't. So it's about us 
getting shots in early. Let's get the crowd yeah. off the seat a little bit. Let's make them believe that they're in a the game. Because what's happened is a little bit, and I think it's just because of the the makeup of the team, the way the players are. We've allowed teams to feel comfortable yeah. against us, and a bit like Martinez's team did, keeping hold of the ball and settling the game down. All that does is settles the opposition down. Whereas if you come out and it's what we were doing when we got on that run last season from Christmas to the mm. to the, the to May was our own particularly we were up on our teams immediately yeah. and teams come to Goodison a bit jittery because it was like the good here and this is our game and we'd have them on the back foot in the early part of the season when it wasn't quite clicking mm. everything was quite slow and, and yeah. the year before was slow so teams come and then you take that fear factor that it goes within the mm. first 10 minutes and then they slow it down and then we're bored as crowd you know, Saturday yeah. was a bit like that until the referee started yeah. affecting it, and then people started getting yeah. a bit angry. And we've got to have that from five yeah, past yeah. eight we, on Thursday. You mentioned Sunderland there. I think the difference in Sunderland in this game is, I mean, obviously they they were a team who just fallen into out out of the Premier League, but I don't know whether they were they wanted that game as much. Whereas mm-hmm. I think these and their players certainly be thinking this is a big chance to impress. You know, at a Premier League ground, shopping with shopping, you know, window for 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 a move or, or whatever, and um, I think that'll be the only difference. I think I think they'll have a, have, a, have a different attitude to it because it's not just another game. It's not just another tournament you can throw away. It is the Europa League. The hardest game, the the biggest banana skin we had was losing better mm. because we played them. They played a few games. Yeah. and we played them when we hadn't played any games, and we come through. I know. There was a couple of hairy moments, but in general, if yeah. we'd have took a few of those early chances, we'd have won that five or six. Yeah, you know, as it went, we didn't take the chances. They had a couple of hairy moments. Mm. We got the goal. We should have got more. And they, you know, and and that's how it is. And I think this game, I do honestly believe this game will be a, will be very similar. The one thing we didn't do that night, and it possibly was from fitness, was get up and at them yeah, straight away. It, it was very difficult, it wasn't was it? was feeling your way into it. As, it was a pre-season friendly. It was, it was. Better way. So that's what, to me, that's the only thing we've got to it do. It was a nervous attitude that night as well because we were all just so 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 desperate to get through. And I said this early in the rounds, I was more nervous about those games because it was the potential of, of the, the slip-up because of the fitness because they had played a few more games for us I felt more nervous about having to get into the group stage rather than being in the group Mm. stage where now we're in it I'm not I don't feel as nervous because you're in there you're you're, okay maybe in the last couple of games if we're scrambling around and we need points we we know we need points then it'll become it'll become nervous but those were the games it was the embarrassment factor as well of spending all the other thing is if we're gonna get out if we're gonna you know where we want Everton to go and be. <laughs> you can't be fearing no, this. You can't. These are the teams. If we're gonna win something eventually, it, or we're gonna build a squad that's gonna mm. challenge. Put it this way: if any of the top six had these at home, you'd be going <laughs> three or four nil. You wouldn't even. You wouldn't entertain Arsenal, Liverpool, Tottenham, City, mm. United, Chelsea not beating these, mm. and we want to rub shoulders with them. And we've spent a lot of money, so we shouldn't even be thinking. And I, I've got no, I think we'll do quite well on Thursday, I do, because I just think now well, it, it's about momentum. Well, you say that, let's sort of not be negative at all. We're not being negative, but uh, it's a great chance, I think, for the likes of Sandro and the likes mm-hmm. of Klassen to get that little bit of confidence. I mean, yeah. I'd like Sandro to start, I'd like him to stand, start up front with Dominic Carvin Lewin, and I'd like them to really. I can't think they will. But, I'd, but I'm not saying they will, I'm just saying I'd like yeah. them to. Yeah, yeah. Um, In a two. And let's see. But I would like got. that. I'd like yeah. to. I'd like them to play, and I'd like Sandro to get a couple of goals against these, just to kickstart the season mm. and classing. And it's almost like reverse psychology. You're slowing it down a little bit. It's all you know. It's like. Um, have you ever seen that film Sea Biscuit? No. All right. Well, there's a bit in it like right, where there's a bit in it where because he's a boss horse, right? right and there's yeah. a bit in it where there's a jockey and he's his old jockey and he's on another horse and he's seen him struggling at the back so what he does is he slows it's actually cheating really it's the betting commission probably had yeah. a word he slows his horse down and gets it to go slow and then Seabiscuit's next to it and was like I can beat you and then goes dead fast and ends up winning the race Okay. Right? but he needed that competitive and it's a bit like that for Klassen he needs he needs because he's been quite playing quite slow he needs Seabiscuit he does need Sea Biscuit, I think, as well. Yeah. He needs to he needs to go up against opposition like this where he feels like he's he, not inferior no. yeah, and yeah. he is stronger and he is faster and maybe that'll give him a little push to 
Not that they make Acumen's comments about him because he's come off. I thought they were right. I thought they were absolutely spot on. I thought mm. they were spot on, and I agree with them. I do think there's a good player in there, mm. but he's not playing at the level he needs to. Um, we've seen that on Saturday. Sometimes he'll get the ball and do something really nice with it, but unfortunately that gets overshadowed by when he gets the ball and wants two seconds longer yeah. than he's going to get in the Premier League. Mm. I said this the other day. Very average players look good in the Premier League because they get the ball and move it very quickly. Mm. I think it's why certain people are, are successful. I think it's like, you know, like players from France come in the Premier League, and I think they do well. It's because if you watch the French league, if you hold on for a second longer, you get smacked, basically, because mm. it's a very physical league. And I think he's come from a league where that doesn't happen. You don't, you don't have that. You don't have that. You don't have someone up, to use a phrase up your ass mm. as soon as you get the ball. It's 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 like no one used to play Sunday league. You knew you were getting it straight away. Yeah. But in the higher you go up level you get a little bit more time yeah, on the ball yeah, but when yeah. you come to the Premier League it's a mix of everything you don't get the time on the ball but you have to be brilliant as well and I think he's got to learn that and some players come over from the likes of Holland and that's where they sink or swim mm. they want that exit it's why Holland's a weird league to buy players from yeah. some come in and they brilliantly Van Nistelrooy Suarez you know, Wait, Suarez early on though was getting well, caught in possession there's always stuff. that adjustment Ericsson you know, Ericsson was, Ericsson was the other one and I'm not saying I'm not saying Claxton's as good as Ericsson or has the same skill set but even early on you have to learn to adjust to the pace you know, people questioned Ericsson because you'd seen this, this yeah. player who was brilliant and everyone wanted him everyone looked at him there was so many top clubs wanted him and he went to Spurs and then and the first couple of games actually hit the ground because yeah. he looked brilliant then the next minute he went right off the ball he couldn't do anything people were like yeah he's well it's like but then he's, he's <laughs> now he's amazing well another one's like it's like Zlatan and again I'm not comparing Zlatan to class and what <laughs> I'm saying is though he was in Holland and he got his move and it for a very long time even when he was at Barcelona never doing the he'll never do it in the Premier League mm. and maybe if he'd moved from Ajax to the Premier League at the time maybe he wouldn't have done it mm. because he's gone round and, and got maybe faster and faster and faster and faster in each league ironically as he got slower he's come to the Premier League and he and he, and he and learns and it's just yeah. that adjustment and we're in that adjustment period and he's been thrown in at the deep end and I think that's half the problem and I think and I'm not saying he will I'm just saying if he can adjust I think he can be a brilliant, a, a top player for us. All it is is no one went to hold on and went to let go of him because you don't get the time in the Premier League. But what happens is, the more use you do mm. to popping it off, the more time you do actually get because then people will stand off you. But I think what Kuman was actually saying is not necessarily about how fast you pop it off. Mm. And I think if you look at Wayne Rooney, he's the perfect example. When he gets that ball, he's always got himself in a position where he can hold the player off and earn that extra second and sometimes you have to do that mm. maybe in the adjustments and I think that's maybe what he was saying about being his physical side gotta maybe he's got to be stronger on the ball to push that player off to earn that extra second to then pop to it off and maybe that's what he needs to start doing but I think he also we're not helping him with the runners either because we don't move I think he's a, cle he's a very very clever player you can see with his passing and ironically if he'd have been on the pitch with Nias and when we had Niassi mm. and Calvin Lewin up front, he might have had a bit more joy because he'd have had people who were running. But he's, he's got to learn that, hasn't he? He's got to earn that right to stay on the pitch. So when we are playing with them kind of players, I think he's another player who'd benefit from a diamond in midfield. Mm. Either at, may, maybe not the tip of it, but maybe on the right hand side, I think he'd benefit from playing mm. in a diamond. Um, again, I don't think the system helps him. I don't think no. playing with with two other number 10s quite quite suit them Num three when you've got three players who are playing in that position behind the centre forward and none of them have really got pace yeah. and want to get forward that makes his job harder mm. and I think if he played on the right hand side or even the tip of it I think you'd see a lot more from him I don't you know I think it's we shouldn't be writing him off um, no. I just like him or Sandra off but I think the manager was right to come out with the comments because the manager will have said it to him mm. anyway beforehand and you know that's what they do in Holland but to be fair that's good though because it also is letting in everyone else know that Koeman isn't saying oh he's brilliant mm. what are you on about and we're, we're kind of going come on Davey get into it a bit more or he's receiving worse criticism from other people at least the fan base can look and go but the manager's saying yeah. what we're seeing he needs to be that bit a little bit stronger he's not Telling them that he's nine out of ten every game and all that, and I think that. And I think Sandro's is exactly the same. 
Mm. When he receives the ball, he's got to be stronger. He's got to buy himself a second or two to see what's on. If they're both, they're not going to adjust to the pace overnight. So, they, but they've got to adjust physically. Unfortunately, every time Sandro gets it, he just hits the deck. Where he's mm. got to learn to just stand up and 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 look after the ball. Again, that's that's. I think that's another. Th- Players come into our league and they either adapt and get better, or they throw their hands up in the air and go, "I want to move. I want to move back home." Mm. And we've seen, you know, we've seen, we've seen both sides of that at Everton and other clubs. And it's just that's a, that's an attitude whether they want to, they want to success because it's very easy. I think for team, it's very easy. And I'm not saying this can ha- this would happen with Sanjo or Claxon. It happens to all players who come in the Premier League. It's very easy to just go. I can't adjust. Go back to where you come from. And just be a success at like class and could easy go back to Ajax and be a success mm. and play out the rest of his years and have a good career there. He could do that. That wouldn't be a problem for him or for that type of player. Sandro could go back to Spain and have a good career playing for Malaga and Celta Vigo and you know all these kind of athletic. Well, of course he did, but he, uh, let's be honest, they're getting cost now, so it's mm. not going to happen. You know, so. If they want to better themselves and become better players, they've got to learn to adjust. Because if the you know if you go in the Champions League, the Champions League is a little bit like the Premier League. It's not quite as fast, but it's it's got the same sort of rhythms to it. You have to look after the ball. It's not all about mm. you know the, like the, maybe the final stages are you start seeing all that silkiness coming through. But yeah. in the early stage, in the group stage, it's still it's still very rough and tumble. Got to perform. Yeah, the stuff. Yeah, and he's got to perform. But uh, but this is key. This kind of games is what you know is where he should feel comfortable. He's the captain of a team that mm. got to the final, so he should be comfortable in this arena. And you know, hopefully, I'm like you. I, I just love him to get on the end of something and just score because I think that'll endear the crowd mm. to him a bit more, and it'll make him the same as Sandro. Mm. You know, if you've got a wish list, it's Dentry from a yard out to knock one in each just to get them going. Sands up from 25 would be great, but just to get them up and running and get the crowd go, yeah, they have, they do bring something to the team. Let's back them a bit more, mm. and it'll make them feel like I'm part of this now, and I can do it. I've scored yeah. for Everton in the first team, and that kind of thing. Yeah. You know? Well, let us know your thoughts in the comments on this one. And um, are you slightly worried, or do you think it's going to be a very positive night, and we're going to have a, a, a not a comfortable? I don't want it to be a comfortable evening. I want it to be a smash them to bits even do you know what I mean comfortable just means well let's go a couple of goals and pass it I'm going to be in their face <laughs> it's giving everyone a lesson 5 nil. getting the goal difference up there it'd be good if we if we could score some goals it just to be. keep that gap going as well then, and then some other players scoring goals as well mm. as you just said Sandro Klassen players you haven't, haven't really yeah let's get it going come ahead on, of bro. ahead come of on. Sunday then yeah and then Burnley come in thinking oh, these have now started to score goals we've got to be wary yeah confidence on, it's all confidence as well it's all confidence three wins in a row with some goals would be a, a massive boost Great. for us so yeah. we, let us know your thoughts in the comments don't forget if you haven't already subscribed we're heading towards that 20,000 we want it we know loads of you watch but don't subscribe so please please subscribe Just subscribe, Just subscribe. if exactly. you want notifications click the bell bell and if you want more videos join us on Patreon thanks for watching Sophie TV we'll see you later